Welcome to Arathon Empire as still your G Tambor Prince P and this is actually the episode 2 of today's gist and guys no time for intro we need to dive into the matter of the matter because this one why they see here eh? they bust my mind guys just stay tuned but please before we dive in subscribe just subscribe click the notification button and don't forget like comment share with your friends so that you can actually stay updated anytime any day I upload just stay tuned All right, quickly, let's dive into the matter of the Matthias. This one that I saw, oh my God, I don't know how to, I don't know how to excruciate it. In fact, I don't know how to talk about Because this one, eh, it totalized me. You know, like saying, I mean, wait, just the candidate talk. Let me read the article. It bust my mind. Let me read it. China opens China opens police station in Nigeria. Ha! We are finished. It's over. We are done. I said it that that tomorrow we'll wake up. There will be no Nigeria. We are done. Where are they? Countries like Lesotho and Tanzania are two countries in Africa with Chinese police station. And now Nigeria is included. I'm sad now. Timmy! I don't... At this point, at this point, we are we are in a critical situation here. Nigeria, we there for dying minutes now. I won't be surprised that tomorrow we go wake up and see say Nigeria now. We are not answering Twanquenya. Seriously. Seriously. And the reason why they, they give eh, it be annoying. It'd be very sad. Let me read it. The report by Safeguard Defender states that rather than cooperating with the local authorities in respect of territorial sovereignty, sovereignty, China prefers to cooperate with overseas NGOs or civil society organization across the five continents, setting up alternative policing and directly implicating those organizations in the illegal methods used to pursue fugitives. You see? Instead, where China go follow the normal procedure, they prefer to put their own police, police station for another person country that this is what they want to do. And the excuses that they are giving is meaningless. But guys, I'm not surprised. They are smarter than, than us. They are smarter. They are, they are very smart than our government. Our government, they are senseless. And I know. I saw, like, I was, I was shouting. I was shouting this thing. When our government... They were busy going to China to borrow, borrow, borrow. They go just they borrow, 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 borrow. I keep on shouting. This thing where our government they borrow. Very soon we we'll wake up. Chinese will take over Nigeria. Very soon we we'll wake up. We'll be slaves to Chinese. And I don't know the kind of mentality our leaders they have. Chinese where they go borrow from. They know that you, you are owing, but they will still borrow you another one. Do you think that they are stupid? They know what they are doing. They are wise. They know that it will come to a time you can't pay. You can never pay. And what will happen when they give you instruction, you obey. When they ask you to sell your country, you will definitely obey. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm speaking to you now, 
Every Nigeria they owe China. Every Nigeria they owe China one thousand one hundred and one nine my Oh yes. Now every Nigeria they owe China. So if you are there sitting down thinking that oh you know consign me, it consign you. Because this government they went to borrow on your name, on your behalf. Not on their behalf, on Nigerians' behalf. So whether I like it or not, you are owing China. And very soon will be enslaved. It has started happening. It has started happening. Me, I know go they surprise again. Very soon now, our surname go change. Very soon go they hear something like America Twin Ha Chijoke Twin Twa Jennifer Twin Ha. I won't be surprised. Because we are where our government is leading us to is into slavery. Honestly, eh? See, Africa just they like one basket. One basket with the leak. All of them they leak. The same, the same thing that is happening in this country is the same thing that is happening in this country. Can Nigeria go and open? Police station in China. That is very even Nigerian go they can't even say it. Our government can't even say it. Talk more or less go in there to establish a police station in China. Because what? China doesn't owe you a dime. They don't owe you. But what? We are owing them. We are we are we are always on their debts. So we are now slaves to them. It's very sad, but this is the this is the country that we are living in now. Nigeria day on that dying minutes. I don't talk about this country. Things where they happen for this country now is is very sad and annoying. That it has gotten to an extent that we all need to just go out. Let's go out. If they go flee to that country, make them flee time. Things where they happen there too much. Made in flee time. Is it not better during those eighties? Life was better then. Our mothers, our fathers, they were enjoying. Although they they are colonized, but they are not suffering. But this one is more than colonization. This one is hardship and slavery. Because now, our leaders, they have taken us into slavery. We don't have any say. You see it? Every day we go to China, go borrow. We don't borrow from China. We don't borrow from UK. We don't borrow from Canada. We don't borrow from U.R. Europe, we have borrowed. And one horrible thing about this whole borrowing is that when they borrow, one pardon. Shampo, you will never see. You will never see a project that they used it for. You will never see. I don't know. Our government, the way they are blow, the way they are blowing, what kind of mentality are they having? Are they having it in mind that when they borrow, 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 these people go talk, say, oh, the the borrowing is too much, the debt is too much. Okay, right now we'll forget it, we'll squash it out and Come again and start borrowing. I don't know if they think that these people that they are borrowing from, they are not calculating how much they are giving you people or what. I don't know. Are you people really putting us in chains? Are you people really putting us in debts? Debts that we cannot pay. Debts that our children, children cannot pay. That is the debts that our politicians, African leaders, they are putting us into. Nigeria is borrowing. Ghana is borrowing. Tanzania is borrowing. Togo is borrowing. Uganda is borrowing. African leaders, they all they know is to borrow, 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 borrow from Westerners, from Asia, from China. Ha! African leaders. Get sense. May we? Okay, quickly, let's talk about British Prime Minister. 
British Prime Minister came out yesterday and announced her resignation from the office. What is the reason? That she has seen that she can deliver the mandate given to her. And what did she do? She personally came out with honor and dignity and prestige and integrity to resign. You get where they go to resign. Ah, you see, you see system that is working. You see system that is determined. You see citizens where they think, leaders where they think for their citizens. Leaders that have something here. Not be leaders with big empty head. What we have in Africa is leaders with big empty head. With pot belly. If you see their belly, you go talk, say, are they carrying triplets? They will be in the office. Eat, eat, swallow, 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 swallow. They will be like gods. We don't know what to do. Mm. Oh, here are they. God save us. This lady, she was appointed. She didn't steal anything. She has not done anything. But the problem is that the mandate that was given to her, she is seeing it that she can't deliver that mandate. And what did she do? She resigned. Huh? Come to Nigeria. Come to Nigeria. Once you appoint them, it's not their family inheritance. They will stay there. Even the worst one is that even the ones who know where, even leaders who know where, they still want to be on the seats. Are we even serious? Are we serious at all? With a joke, oh. With a joke. And obviously, the jokes are not funny. <sighs> huh? You saw that you can't deliver. What do you do? You resign. Well, Africa, are, are they going to resign? Instead of resigning, they, they will boldly they will boldly stay in that seat and shamelessly consume the economy. Shamelessly bring down the economy, putting the country into abject poverty. They no care. The only thing they care is once they are okay, once they are receiving that their salary, once they are embezzling money, that's the only thing they care. You see it? UK there, you can't go there and mess around. If you don't know what you are doing there, they will tell you. If you don't know what you are doing there, whether you eat money or you don't eat money, they will hold you responsible for failure. But when it comes to our leaders, failure is their surname, yet nobody they hold them responsible. Failure is their surname. They the, un the incompetency in our government, it is meh. You can't count one or two leaders that are competent to deliver. The incompetency in the government system these days, it is meh like madman and pit. But they are still there, proudly, shamelessly, consuming embezzling money. See, if we don't do something drastic, something drastic will happen to us. And that's why I keep on saying that we are now sitting on a very big time bomb. Big time bomb. That at this point, when you go blow it, now I gnash. Now you go burn. Get sense. May we. Alright guys, so that will be all in today's episode and you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued because I'm coming back with another mind-busting, interesting, deliberating, educating analysis. Just stay tuned, stay glued, but please subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button and don't forget, like, also share, comment to your friends so that you can actually stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Thanks for watching. God bless.